Hey there! Welcome to the Traveling History Buff. Today I'm at the French Legation, and joining me is Cynthia from the Texas Historical Commission. Thank you, Cynthia, for joining us today. My pleasure. Who is Dubois de Salonay, and what is his story? For, did I say that correctly? Pretty much. I think we probably get it wrong too. <laughs> um, I think native speakers are probably like, that's wrong. Um, Dubois de Salonay was a French diplomat sent by France to Texas to investigate the economic viability and Texas's ability to remain independent. They were interested really in the ports and in crops like cotton from Texas, and so they sent Dubois to investigate that. Dubois ends up sending a very positive report back to France, and that leads to France officially recognizing Texas um, as a sovereign nation. And it also leads to Dubois being promoted as charge d'affaires to Texas. And for those who don't know what a charge d'affaires is, can you explain that to us a little bit? So a charge d'affaires is basically a secretary for nations like Texas that had not become, um, and I know people are gonna be mad about this, but great yet. Uh, they received someone who wasn't an ambassador, but who was a charge d'affaires, um, who was more of a secretary. They received a legation. And who is Father Odin and when did he move in? I understand he moved in after Dubois? Yes, so the interesting thing is Dubois purchases this property, 21 acres, in September of 1840, and he sells it two months later to the Catholic Church, to Father Odin. So Father Odin was sent really with two mandates from the Catholic Church, and that was to obtain title to all of the missions here in Texas and to reinvigorate the Catholic faith. So he purchased the property in December of 1840. And who is the Robertson family and when did they move in? The Robertson family, uh, Dr. Joseph W. Robertson, um, came to Texas around 1837. He was a really interesting uh, person. He was a physician by trade. He was also a po politician. He served in the House of Representatives. He was also the fifth mayor of Texas. Uh, he served in the Texas Rangers for a bit. And he was an entrepreneur. Uh, he ran a successful um, doctor business down on Congress, and he actually marketed his all-natural vegetable bitters. Oh, wow. And why is this site important to the history of Austin? This site is important because it's in a unique position to talk about the history, not just from a political stance uh, with Dubois, but also in terms of what pioneer life was like in terms of Joseph Robertson, and also um, from a religious aspect with Father Odin. Um, and through that, we are interpreting the site, not just about Dubois, but from the beginning to really present. So we also want to talk about um, the enslaved, Robertson had nine enslaved here, Dubois had three enslaved here, um, and the Freedmen's community that develops, which becomes one of the most diverse Freedmen communities with uh, Anglo, Mexican, and African American, as well as Swedish, German, and Italian immigrants. And what is your favorite exhibit here? Um, well, I love the house itself. Uh, it's an amazing structure, and again, I think it's an interesting history talking about early Texas and its desire to remain independent. And this, this house just really kind of speaks to that, um, that interest in, a, in securing their independence. Awesome. And is all the buildings on this site original? So this building, the historic legation house, was built somewhere around 1840, we think. We think it was finished maybe around 1841, and it is the most historical building or site um, here. The other buildings were built later by the DRT. The reconstructed kitchen was built in the 1960s, and the carriage house, what we call the visitor center now, was built in the 1970s. And you guys just recently did a renovation, is that correct? That's correct. Well, I have to say you guys have done a fantastic job renovating the place. It looks marvelous. Well, thank you. We're very proud of it. Where can visitors find information about the site if they want to come and visit? They can find information on our webpage, which would be visitfrenchlegation.com. We also have a Facebook and Instagram. Awesome. And I'll put a link in the description down below. Well, that's all we have time for this episode. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>